let's consider the exclusive OR gate. First of all, let's have a look at its symbol. This is its symbol here. It looks a little bit like an OR gate, but we can see it has this extra curvy line at the input to the gate. Now the output as F is A exclusively odd with B and we can see that we use this symbol here for meaning exclusively odd. Let's consider the truth table for this particular gate. Well here are the inputs A and B, there's the output F. These are the input combinations and this is what the output looks like. And I think it's important to note that the output is a zero when both inputs are a zero and the output is also a zero when both inputs are a one. We can see that this input combination here gives us an output of 1. Likewise, this input combination gives us an output of 1. Now you may need to remind yourself as how to derive the sum of min terms from a truth table. And if that is the case, I suggest you look at previous videos on this channel. But what I'm going to do, I'm now going to produce the sum of min terms for the output F taken from the truth table we're looking at here. So we take note where F is a 1 and we can see we have not A and B and we have A and not B and of course what we do we or them together as you can see here. Now this is the sum of min terms for this particular truth table. So let's just quickly draw out the symbol again. Here's A and B going into the exclusive OR gate and that's the representation we've seen but we can equally represent this by the following sum of min terms. Now if I consider this sum of min terms here from this I can derive a logic circuit, a combinational logic circuit which you can see I'm building up here. Now the key is to look at previous videos if you want to see how to do this and of course what I can now do is take these in through to a two input OR gate and the output of F will be this boolean expression that you see here. Now if we consider this circuit here and this one although they look completely different what we can say with certainty is that they are logically the same. For those of you who have viewed how to design a half adder will note that this particular boolean expression here is the boolean expression for the sum. So in a half adder design we could actually make our circuit less complex i.e. not have this circuit here but instead have this gate to represent the sum from the truth table of a half adder. However, this particular video is not about that. It's about the exclusive O. And what we have to realize is that this is its symbol. This is how we say A is exclusively odd with B. And this is the truth table. And this is the thing you need to memorize, this truth table. This is the key to understanding the exclusive O. It's just the case that we can take the sum of min terms from the truth table and get this combinational logic circuit instead of the gate.